This is the card I'll be showing you how to make today. It's a lattice fold card using the Sweet Strawberry Stamp Set along with the Strawberry Builder Punch. To get started, you will need a five and a half by eight and a half sheet of cardstock. You'll want to fold that in half. Now, I will leave a link to, in the description bar that will take you to the Stamp Together blog where you'll find a printable PDF where you can find the template to create this lattice fold card. So you can print that out and make your own, but you're gonna line that up right on the crease here. And I like to use some paper clips here just to hold it in place while we cut. So you're gonna do that. It's gonna go right on the fold there. Take a, a pair of paper snips here and you will trim and cut right on the lines. Okay, once you finish that, you can take off the paper clips and your little template here. So you should end up with some nice little cuts here. Lay that down here. And actually, to make sure you've got it going the right direction, you're going to want to make sure you have a little triangle and this is gonna be your bottom. So fold the card and you are going to take Granny Apple Green ink pad along with these strawberry branches and little flower blooms um, from the Sweet Strawberry Stamp Set. And you will ink those up in the Granny Apple Green ink pad. And you will just kind of stamp those all around and you can stamp twice. creating kind of a vine look down the edge of your card. And it's okay if you stamp a little um, over where you have made those slip marks for the lattice, that is totally fine. But we're finished with that, so close the ink pad up. You'll open your card back, and here's where the fun part get, goes, where we fold and make the lattice here. So you'll take, we've got the triangle here, skip that, we're going to take the first little triangle angle and fold that down like so. Now take your paper snips here and we are going to cut and remove that. So cut on both sides here. Alright, so once we have done that, we're going to skip the next triangle and take the very next triangle and fold that down and tuck it under the first little triangle. So it should look like that. We're gonna repeat those steps so the next triangle you'll skip and then pull the very next one down, fold it back and tuck it under the other, the little triangle point headed upwards. So skip one and then take the next triangle, fold it back, tuck it under the point. Skip one, grab the next, and we'll tuck that under this point. Skip one and then take the next one and fold it back and tuck it under this point. So you should have something that looks like this. Now, this piece that you cut off, we are gonna use that. So take a little uh, Tombow or adhesive of your choice and we will put a little tiny glue up here at the top, both sides, and we are going to glue that right, so tuck under this top point here and line it up with the edge top of your card here. So hopefully you can see that. So we're gonna just slip it under this point here and line it up with the edge of the card up here. 
So once that sticks, you can carefully fold your card and voila, there's your beautiful lattice look here. So set this aside and we're gonna work on the front part of our card. So first take a piece of vellum and we are gonna use the Stitch So Sweetly dies here. And we're gonna use the next to largest uh, scallop stitch die here. So grab this. And then we're going to use the die cutting machine. So grab your platform here. Move some of this stuff. So you'll have your number one, number two, your first plexiglass piece, and then your piece of vellum and your die. Lay that down, and then you'll have your second piece of plexiglass, number three. So you'll run that through the die cutting machine. And when you finish, you should end up with something that looks like this. So next, we're going to take the same vine stamp here that we used earlier to stamp all over the um, base of the cardstock. Make sure you clean it so that it's all nice and clean. Grab some Versamark here and your Granny Apple Green ink pad. Ink it up in Versamark first, and then ink it up in your Granny Apple Green and we are going to stamp it in the bottom right hand corner. Like so. And then wash this stamp because we don't want to transfer more Granny Apple Green in the Versamark like someone did to this ink pad. But we're going to ink it up back in Versamark and repeat that step. And then stamp it in Granny Apple Green. And stamp it up here in the top left hand corner. Quickly grab some clear embossing powder here, and we are going to cover this and go emboss it so that it comes out a nice, glossy, textured um, piece. So use your heat tool and emboss that. And when you finish, you should end up with something like this. So you can see that it's nice and shiny, gorgeous. Um, I grabbed some white twine from the Snail Mail Twine Combo Pack, and we're just going to tie this around the vellum piece that we just embossed. And then I'm gonna tie a little kind of loose sloppy bow here. Oops. Like so. And we will set this aside and go on to our next step. So the fun part is doing the strawberries. I love, love some strawberries. So we are going to take Poppy Parade ink and use the solid strawberry. We're going to ink that up and I'm going to do it upside down so that it will be easy to punch because if you do it the opposite way you're going to be trimming into some cardstock. So if you stamp it upside down you should be able to slip it directly into the punch. So I used Poppy Parade ink for the solid stamp and then I've got real red here for the one with the little seeds and the outlines. So stamp that right on top. And you'll see that gives a nice two-toned layer there. And then grab your Granny Apple Green ink again. And we are going to take the solid stamp little leaf strawberry topper, stamp off first, and then stamp on. And then you will take the outline, just ink up and directly stamp on top so that it gives it also a nice two-tone look. Next, we get to grab our punch and we are going to punch out the strawberry. So there we go. And then also we are going to, whoops, need to do some trim in here. And then we're going to stick in the little leaf here. 
punch out that. So that's what that should look like. Um, then I just took some Wink Stella over the strawberry here and glued on the topper. And so that's what your strawberry should look like. Also, I took a scrap piece of Whisper White and Real Red Ink. And I took the stamp that says, that was so sweet of you, that comes in the sweet strawberry stamp set. And ink that up. And I used some paper snips and just cut really closely around the greeting and we're going to add that directly to the card. So we've got all of our little pieces here. Now it's time to assemble the card. So take your card base lattice that we just put together and we are going to take some Tombow glue, directly glue on the back of the strawberry, kind of tuck that under our ribbon here and then take off the dimensionals off the back of your greeting and kind of place that right there. Oops, a little crooked. There we go. And then lastly, we can add a little Tombow. I like to add some directly by the, behind the images and then I'll add just little pieces where I've done the stamped image. That way it doesn't show through um, the vellum. But then you can place that down on your card and hold for a second so that it adheres. And there you have it, a super cute, fun, easy card um, made with the sweet strawberry and strawberry builder punch. So hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.